This is shuttle launch control at T minus 33 or 9 minutes in holding with just uh, 30 seconds left in today's planned build in hold. At this point, the heaters inside the boosters are being turned off in preparation for launch, and our booster test conductor, Harvey Cohen, is confirming proper levels of hydrazine inside each of the booster's hydraulic power units. We're just 10 seconds away from picking up the launch countdown and continuing forward for launch of Columbia on time at 9.51 this morning. Two, one, one. Countdown clock is now at T minus eight minutes, 56 seconds and counting. The ground launch sequencer has been activated and the STS-55 terminal countdown is underway. All of the countdown events are now being handled by the ground launch sequencer up until T minus 31 seconds when the responsibility for the countdown is handed off to Columbia's onboard computers. The launch team continuing to monitor their consoles and no problems being observed. PLT, OTC. Start, configure fuel cell essential bus source switches. That's in work. Houston flight controllers have sent their stored programs to the shuttle Columbia to assure that we have compatible antenna frequencies to support the mission. All continuing to look very well. T minus seven minutes and 30 seconds. The ground launch sequencer has initiated retraction of the orbiter crew access arm away from Columbia. The access bridge could be positioned back in place in just 15 seconds if the need were to arise. T minus seven minutes, 12 seconds, and counting. Yes. Start your APU and hydraulic strip short recorder split the clock. Copy. T minus six minutes, twenty seven seconds and counting. All systems of Columbia continu continuing to look well. PLT OTC. Orbiter test conductor Mike Key has just instructed pilot Tom Henricks to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start procedure. Henricks will be setting the switches in the cockpit to put the auxiliary power units in the proper pre-start configuration. Auxiliary power units will start at the T-minus five minute mark in about another 40 seconds. These auxiliary power units provide the power to the hydraulic pumps that control critical tasks like the movements of the orbiter's elevons, the rudders, the speed brakes, the landing gear, and the main engine thrust vector controllers. Mission Control has just transmitted a signal to start Columbia's onboard flight recorders in preparation for flight. We're just about 10 seconds away from getting a go for auxiliary power unit start. Let's go for orbiter APU start. PLT OTC perform APU start. Start the APUs. And CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. Orbiter test conductor Mike Key has given pilot Tom Henricks the command to start Columbia's auxiliary power unit. Henricks replied that it's in work. Uh, 
And Tom Henrich replying that, that the auxiliary power units look good. This is four minutes and 20 seconds away from launch of Columbia. The liquid oxygen still in drain valve is now closed for flight. A final purge sequence of Columbia's main engines will begin in about five seconds. The chamber coolant valves on the main engines will be open to prepare for engine ignition. Columbia's aero surfaces, such as the rudder, elevons, and speed brake, are now being cycled through a programmed test pattern to verify that they are ready for flight. T minus 3 minutes, 35 seconds, and all continues to look good. We have now transferred over to internal power and are switching off ground power to Columbia. At this point, the orbiter is being powered by its onboard fuel cells. All aerosurface checks are complete and reported to be in launch configuration. Columbia's three main engines are now being gimbaled and being cycled through a steering check. We're approaching the launch minus three minute mark in the count and looking to soon begin flight pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank. T minus two minutes, 55 seconds. And we have a go for retracting the gaseous oxygen vent hood away from the external tank. Approaching of Columbia's main engines is now being terminated. Columbia is now running on internal power. Orbiter test conductor Mike Key requested pilot Tom Henricks to clear the ship's caution and warning memory system, and Henricks has completed the task. Two minutes and 15 seconds away from launch of STS-55. The astronauts have now closed their visors in preparation for launch. Replenishment of liquid hydrogen to the external tank is being terminated and Columbia is now disconnected from all ground fuel loading systems. Just one minute and 34 seconds away from launch. One minute, 30 seconds. When Columbia's engines ignite in another 75 seconds, the roar of 37 million horsepower will begin. More than 7 million pounds of thrust will kick in six seconds after that when the boosters ignite and Columbia begins its journey skyward. T-minus one minute, 10 seconds, and counting. One minute. The ground launch sequencer has verified that Columbia's three main engines are ready for ignition. The heaters around the joints of the solid rocket boosters have been turned off. T minus 45 seconds and counting. minus 31 seconds and we have a go for auto sequence start. The handoff has occurred and Columbia is now in control of its own launch countdown. T minus 22 seconds. 20. Columbia's vent doors are configured for launch. T minus 15 and we're coming up on a go for main engine start. Seven, six, five, four, and we have a main engine shutdown at T-minus 3 seconds. We have a redundant set launch sequencer aboard. And Columbia is now being safe. CBR, panel 06. DTC, mode 5, switch to halt. CBR, mode 5, to halt. 
We're now preparing to shut down the orbiter's auxiliary power unit. The engines are safe, and Columbia is being placed in a safe configuration. No MPS fire detectors are tipped to this time. Copy. In CLT, perform APU shutdown. Shut down the APU. And CMPL and C-Log verify like to see passes established. Columbia's pilot Tom Henricks has confirmed that the auxiliary power units are shut down, and Al Safchi has just confirmed that the orbiter access arm is now back in place next to Columbia. Main engine engineers are, con are confirming that they see no leaks around the main engines and that they feel the vehicle is in a safe configuration. CPS verified, polling and telemetry. CCME. CCME verified. CSME. SME verified, four and five. CMPL. CMPL verifies six and seven. CLA 12. LA 12 verifies eight, nine, ten. CLOX. CLOX verifies 11, 12. HDD. HDD, NTD. We're looking at it at this time. CGSF. GSS verifies 14. APU. APU verifies 15. CBA 12. CBA 12 verifies 16. EPD. EPD verifies 17 and 18. Double OS. Double OS verifies 19. CBRS, CRS 20. HDD, do you have a status? Stand by. Abort safety checks are complete. Proceed to recycle control sequence, sequence 18, page 1031. And when you get a status, HDD, break in. Okay, sequence 18, page uh, 1032. DLS safety has started. Flight, NTD. NTD flight. Perform your recycle. Inward. It's easy. The shuttle launch control. The safing of the space shuttle system continues out at launch pad 39A. Copy that, uh, PLT But at this point, it's believed that Columbia is in a safe configuration. The okay. orbiter access okay. arm okay. is now back in position, adjacent to the hatch leading to Columbia, and the astronauts will be able to gain access to that arm. The sound water sound suppression system out at launch pad 39A has been activated and is now spraying down the mobile launcher platform and the aft end of the space shuttle orbiter. That's verified. Copy that. CGSS OTC. This is CGSS. Verify OAA is extended locked and configured for retract. I can verify that. Copy that. 
NOTC CDLS to verify. 27, our primary safety is complete. We'll go for transition to G9. Copy that. NTD copy. Houston flight, step 28. Flight is go for a G9 transition. MTL, CLOC, CLH, fly. Verify. Go for transition G1 to G9. MTL, verify. CLOC, verify. LH, fly, verify. Yeah. HTD, NTD. HTD, HTD, go ahead. Yeah, what's your status? Okay, um, right now we're still looking at the aft. And it looked like we might have had a small leak, but we're down to about 100 ppm of O2 in the aft. But okay. we're down, we're decreasing. That's all you've seen? That's all you've yes, seen up to this all. point? That's okay. All. All right, say hello, TC. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, step 30. Are we ready for PCM in your two remote? Stand by. OTC, ISO. Go ahead. Re ready for PCM photo. Copy that. Uh, CDR, OTC. CDR, go ahead. On panel C3, OI, TC, MMU, power switch off, OFF. This is Shuttle Launch Control. We have recently received confirmation that the orbiter is in a safe mode and that the astronauts should be leaving Columbia sometime within the next several minutes. Copy. The liquid hydrogen tank has been placed in stable replenish and we're beginning our post flight and or post uh, scrub inspections of the shuttle Columbia. It is far too early to uh, we didn't know what went wrong exactly, wrong exactly this morning, but we did and, uh, go into a hold at T-minus three seconds after we had a main engine start. SC. And it'll probably take some time before we have a good understanding okay, of exactly what happened here this morning. Go ahead and shut the water off, uh, the, the heat your water off. Okay, and you realize we're transitioning at this point to G-9. That doesn't... We'll wait till the transition is complete. I understand. And NTD will proceed on your go. Copy. We're uh, standing by for a verification. We've transitioned to G-9. Copy. And HTD, how do you look? HTD, NTD. Which HTD? Yeah, how do you look? Say again? Yeah, do you see any leaks? Negative, everything looks nominal right now. Got it. I copy. OTC DPS, go. And our G9, 12960 now. Copy that. NTD. NTD, copy. CDC. CDC acknowledges. And CPROP. Uh, CPROP, go. Okay, we're in G9. You can go ahead and uh, put your plan into work. I'll get here, sir. Okay, HCD and TD step 46. Can you verify the ET inner tank O2 concentration less than 10,000 ppm? I can verify that. Copy. TPC, pick up your step 47. And into TVC, I can give you step 50. ET heaters have been activated. Copy. TVC and TD. Go ahead. Uh, stand by. RSR and TD. RSR, NTD. RSR. Yes, yeah, step 54. Post cutoff safety checks are complete. HPD reports no leaks. Fire and leak detector status is satisfactory. Request concurrence to proceed with SRB, SNA saving. Uh, Roger, go ahead and proceed with SRB, SNA saving. Copy, step 55, OTC, SRB, SNA saving. Copy that. C power, OTC. C power, go ahead. Verify ignition, SNA is safe. Verify. ATC prop. Go so ahead, C prop. Top and wide drain complete. Looks good. Uh, water's off with the heat shield. All right, copy. DPS, CPD, OTC. DPS, go. 50 
The EU equivalent of that critical commands will be issued momentarily. GPS copies. GPS copies. GLS OTC. GLS go. Form SOB, RSS, SNA safety. Copy that. Ten work. CDR OTC. CDR go. Yes, sir. Go ahead and open your visors now, sir. Sure, thank you. OTC CGLS, SLB, RSS, SNAs are saved, and MEC critical commands are disabled. Uh, copy that. NTD copies.